Michael. <laughs> All right, guys, so good evening to each and every one of you uh, from here, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest. Now, thank you so much for hopping on. I know we have you know, a few people from the Philippines who join us, and we have a lot of people also from Canada. So thank you so much, guys. And uh, we're super excited as we close out the year. And for those people who have been uh, doing their business, congratulations to you guys. But before we're going to bring in our, you know, our, guest speaker for tonight. Let me go through some of the few announcements. Uh, again, uh, I would like to uh, greet everybody uh, you know, a Merry Merry Christmas and of course a joyful year 2018 to all of you. So I know uh, 2018 will be amazing. So there are a lot of things to be excited. You now we've been waiting for some more announcement from Yoli and whatnot. But again guys, uh, please tune in to a lot of uh, BBRs. We have a lot of better body resolution party, and this is a good thing to uh, kickstart the new year. So we have here, we're hosting one in Jacksonville, Florida on January 3. And of course, uh, January 9 in Orlando, Florida, and Sandy and Darren Falter will be our special guests in both. You know? January 3, uh, Jacksonville, Orlando, January 9. And of course, I will be in LA on January 6. And then uh, another January 6th will be in Queens, New York. Uh, we have one in San Diego, January 13th. And also Waikiki, Hawaii, January 13th. And ob absolutely the first BBR in the Philippines would be January 13th also uh, by Emerson Aquino and Myra Feliciano, our uh, double blue diamond. And of course, uh, our Chicago area in Naper, Ville, Illinois will be January 18. Okay, so take note, guys. Now, uh, as we close in the year, and I know some of you are still going on and doing some a lot of activities, and and that's what it's all about. Okay, so for me, how I look into you know, the new year, and it's it's all about having a better outlook. Now, that's we we have a vision. We need to have a better outlook if. We want to have you know, a better uh, 2018. But as much as we want to have a better outlook, one of the things I could suggest to all of us, we need to have better outwork. Now, not only out, outlook, but also an outwork. What do I mean by that? We need to outwork ourselves. Okay? Okay? We need to outwork how we do in 2017. If we want to take the game to the next level for our business in 2018. We better be outworking ourselves. We cannot do the same thing what we're doing in 2018, you know, in 2017 and expect a different result in 2018. We need to step up, you know, our game. It could be doing more BBPs or improving your mindset, your leadership is all about that because what, what is, uh, what is uh, success is all about? Success is all about progress and growth. So if you're not progressing, you're not growing, then don't expect for your business also to grow. Okay, so with that, guys, uh, the person uh, so near and dear to all of us is so kind enough uh, to be a special guest to close out the year. And I've been thinking with a lot of people that can do this one, there's no better man to do it than this guy. We know about it. No, uh, his passion about this profession, his integrity, you know, is second to none. For me, if you don't know my story behind it, without this guy, I never been to Yoli. Now I was attracted with him back in this company that we're been, you know, almost a decade ago, and that's the reason I was attracted to Yoli. Now there's some moment that I will drive seven hours just to meet and see him do the training, and I paid my dues. And in a short period of time, you know, for me, sometimes I will pinch myself. I was able to work with these guys on stage and off stage. We're able to travel a lot of places, you know, have a good time. And of course, you know, I'm so grateful with all the leadership and all the uh, things that he done, not only to myself, to my family, and also throughout the community of Yoli. So without any further ado, guys, let me bring in our... Mr. Energetic with all this 
nice, kind words that will keep us excited and give us the glimpse of what's going to happen in 2018. Our co-founder and CMO, Mr. Corey Citron, out in Los Angeles. So, Corey, can you hear me, buddy? Can you hear me? Yep. All right. Yes. Awesome. Good evening, everybody. How exciting. And Chris, thanks for giving me the honor of uh, speaking with everybody a little, little bit tonight. I love this technology, how we can all be in our homes around the holiday times when we want to be with our families and yet still engage with the business. I mean, it didn't used to be like this. I mean, I've been doing this, Chris, you've been doing it a long time, myself for over 20 years. And, um, you know, it just keeps getting better and better. Back when I started, most of you have heard the story, you know, it was 25 cents a minute for long distance and you couldn't see anybody. It certainly wasn't free like this over the internet with these Zoom calls. So, um, you know, it just gets getting better and better because all this technology empowers all of us to transform more lives. And that's really what it comes down to is, you know, first you got to focus on yourself, right? I don't mean to be selfish, but you got to transform your own life. And most of us leaders, we, we were in the process of doing that. You know, on a scale of one to 10, we're a minimum seven. Some of us higher, eights, nines. None of us tens quite yet. Um, hopefully, there's always some room to approve. Um, but, um, you know, we got to work on that, that transformation. And then all of us, obviously, it's about not about ourselves anymore. It's about affecting the lives and impacting the lives of other people. And, um, you know, it's funny. Uh, my wife and I were just uh, in Palm Springs. We just literally drove in and we were able to hop on this Zoom call a few minutes before it started. And uh, last night, we never watched TV, but we were in bed, started clicking through the cable channels, and uh, Marcus Lemonis came on. Everybody know the prophet, right? Raise your hand, you know the prophet. By the way, hey, everybody, how's it going? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody, you watch The Prophet? Everybody, Chris, you seen The Prophet? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So anyways, it, it was really cool because he was kind of like reviewing, I don't know how long, how many years he's been on the air, maybe two or three. I started watching him when he first started. And he was talking about how, you know, the guy makes so much money. And he was going through some of his biggest uh, disappointments and then some of his biggest um, successes or his biggest wins. And it was incredible because it really mirrored, you know, it's entrepreneurship. So we're in entrepreneurship in Yoli. And, you know, he talked about a lot of the ones that didn't go right, even though they look great. Um, and a lot of it just came down to, you know, the type of person that you decide to partner with, you know. Um, it, it's hard to change people, you know? Excuse makers make excuses, liars lie, cheaters cheat, you know? Whether it's in lie, you know, with their, you know, significant other or in business or trying to short change and, 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 and create overnight success, which we all know doesn't work. And he said his biggest wins, you know, he doesn't need more money. And he talked about this one couple who owned a, a pet organic pet food company. And uh, I forgot the name of it, but it was such a huge success. And you would have never thought that this couple who, when they started, you know, started with nothing, but they put their heart and soul into the business. And now they're a hundred million dollar business and transforming that life, the life of that couple gave him so much joy to overweigh all the disappointment, all the people who had let him down and all the people who had cheated him and all the people who said they were going to do something and never did it. And it just takes those one few few people that you can transform their lives, whether it's physical, emotional, and obviously at this level, financial. And, and that's really what it comes down to, is just identifying those individuals right now and in the new year that are ready to change. You know, whether it's a physical transformation and they want to make those changes. Obviously, everybody's making their New Year's resolutions right now, which obviously revolve around health, time freedom. And finances, we know that, right? But I, I read a, a funny joke. It said, uh, let, me, let me find it here. How many psychologists does it take to fix a light bulb? <laughs> Just one, but it has to want to be changed, right? So, and it's the same thing in this business. And I know from my own experience, the biggest frustration that I've ever, and I know you'll empathize with me, is spending too much time with the wrong people. And so one thing I want you to think about 
as we close out the year here and move into 2018 is, is how can you value your own time more, right? Because when we give away our time, it's a self-respect thing. You know, and more often you have to learn how to say no. The more successful, the most successful people in life, and, and even Warren Buffett says this, are, is because of the things they say no to. In our business, a lot of that has to do with the people we say no to. And in this business, yes, the how is, 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 is there. We have an incredible system and track to run on. But I want you to think in terms of who. Because it's the who that's going to take you to the next level in 2018. And maybe some of the people, not because they're bad people, but maybe it's time to branch out and start working with new people that actually do take the baton and run with it and actually do do what they say they're going to do. And there's a few different types of builders that we see in this business. And we've observed this for decades. And in Yola, you can see this. There's the linear type of builder, and all of us are great at linear building. If you're at a leadership level, if you're a Ruby or above, you're, you're a great linear builder. You can make a list, you can invite, you can um, press play, you can, you know, you can in one, two, or three, you can ask for a decision, you can follow up, you can do all these things, but <laughs> what separates the... Um, I, for some reason, something just showed up on my screen. It says family iPad 2. You guys can still see me? Yeah? Okay. Kind of strange. But, um, you know, it, it, it's the, the people that have learned how to build exponentially. And I know everybody wants to take it to the next level. If you're, you know, a, a ruby, you want to go to emerald. If you're emerald, you want to go to diamond. If you're double, diamond, you go to double, triple, blue diamond. And the way we do that, we already have what we have. You know, there's a lot of people on our team that – if we say, hey, go do it yourself, they're not going to do anything. But if we say, hey, you know, I'll hold your hand. I'll do this with you. I'll, I'll make the list with you. I'll make the calls with you. I'll do the BBPs with you. I'll do the follow-ups with you. That's how you – and, and, and it, it's, it's something that, um, you know, we all – I think a lot of us know we should be doing this, but we've been doing some work. Uh, Robbie and Darren have been doing some work. Um, like, for instance, the last group of leaders that were at the Yoli house, um, what they've been doing is they've been putting their teams together in the same room. You know, we all have a bunch of people on our team that they're great people. They genuinely want to help other people transform their lives. They genuinely want to transform their own life. And, and they really would do something if we create the right environment for them to take action and create these IPA, the in income producing activities. And when you, there's something magic about putting everybody in the room, for instance, and inviting. You're going to get so much more done by putting 10 people in your group together in a room and invite to the next BBPs versus doing it with each of the 10 of them individually. There's a certain psychology. There's a competition. There's a camaraderie. There's an enthusiasm. There's an energy that takes place when you put a group. And let me give you an example of what happened. One group. And mind you, these BBPs that were scheduled happened in the first two weeks of December, which, you know, can be a slow time if your mindset is that it's going to be slow. If your mindset's the exact opposite, that it's the best time ever in history to build, well, then, of course, that's what's going to happen. And so in the first two weeks of December, um, let's see, there was 200, and just this one team, 209 BBPs scheduled. 125 new PCs and 27 new members. Just by simply putting a group together in the same room and working exponentially, not linearly. So each of us, it doesn't have to be 10 people, could be 100 people, could be three people, but it's an example of working exponentially versus linearly, right? Because there's only one of us Right? There's only one of us. We can only do so much in each day. So we've got to really take a look at what we're doing and make sure that we're investing our time into the right people in the right way. Does that make sense? Okay. And you're going to start to hear about these things, okay, because, um, you know, we've been kind of, you know, every year we, we tweak the system a little bit more. We find a little bit more. Uh, a, a few more things, like Chris said, you know, we've been doing this now 
for since the Better Body System came out for like six years. So every year we 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 fine tune it. And I really feel like this year in 2018, not just because of the Philippines and not just because of Mexico, we're gonna get that, but just based on what we're doing, I feel like is the year where people start to grow exponentially. We've seen some incredible growth. We know that. I mean, we've had some incredible and and to me it's and and this is from my experience after 20 years i don't necessarily look at the growth so much because you know anybody can grow a company by doing it the wrong way we can make a bunch of income claims and and and, and tilt it to towards the business entirely and money and flash checks up on stage and all this sort of stuff but we don't do that because that's not solid growth you know it's all about solid growth and that's what we have here in yoli because as you know, 90% of the people, nine out of every 10 are PCs. And so we have a huge amount of growth ahead of us because we're a tiny little company relative to some of these other companies out there in our space, not to mention other uh, transformation products and health products and weight loss products and energy products. I mean, we haven't even really begun to scratch the surface is what I'm trying to tell you. And so we have such a huge opportunity in front of us. Our goal, obviously, our our next goal is to transform 1 million lives. We're well on our way to doing that. And obviously we're not going to stop there. That's just a, a stepping stone, but we'd all like to get there faster than slower. And it's a lot easier to build this business fast than slow. So I'm trying to give you a few things that we've learned. In fact, that are working right now in the field in Yoli to help you grow much more quickly. Okay. And more solidly. And I believe we can do that with some of the strategies that you're going to start seeing introduced into the marketplace, not just the promotions, obviously you should take advantage of the free, um, uh, the, 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 the promotion, uh, with the free shipping for transformation kits. Also the first, um, $25 off the first auto ship, all that stuff is put in place because we know conventionally or con uh, historically speaking, and this is different than any other company I've ever been a part of in our profession because of the nature of our products. The beginning of January, is, as, as you know, it takes off like a banshee. I mean, it's just incredible because of everybody making those New Year's resolutions based on weight loss, based on getting healthier, and of course, creating more time freedom and, and, and finances and all that sort of stuff that people didn't have in their lives in 2017. And so now is the time to strike, obviously, both domestically and obviously in the Philippines. And in the Philippines, I mean, gosh, we've been waiting for this for two or three years now at least, and everything is teed up perfectly. I know that people have had an opportunity to sign up PCs for a little while, but we've got about uh, two more weeks now, and that's it. We're turning it off. Anybody that wants to be a part of this first wave of growth here in the Philippines absolutely needs to be a PC by January 10th, and obviously we've got the BBR happening there with Emerson and Myra on the 13th, and so now is the time, you know. Uh, Put up or shut up or whatever the saying is. And, you know, the whole thing about the Philippines is, I mean, it's, a, it's an opportunity. It's a dream come true to be on the ground floor of, I believe, what's going to be the biggest wave in direct selling history in the Philippines ever. I really believe that. I believe that no company has set things up in a better way with the right mindset. In other words, physical and emotional, trend. not that people don't want a financial transformation and not that they're not, you know, um, you know, just super excited about it and ready for the membership to open up. But if we had done that uh, in reverse, then it would have been too much about the money and then it wouldn't have been as solid. And again, you know, nobody wants to start over. I've had to do it. Chris has had to do it. We've all had to do it too many times and it's no fun. That's one thing when we started Yoli, as we said, we don't want to be the fastest growing company because honestly, we've seen, we've been a part of the fastest growing companies and they go up fast and they come down fast because they're not built on a solid foundation. And so what we want to be with Yoli is yes, we want to transform millions of lives all across North America, Philippines and Asia and all around the world. But really what our vision for Yoli is, is we want to be the most stable company because we have families, we have responsibilities. We have a future, and you can't create a 
solid future if you're not building on a rock solid cement foundation, if you're always building on sand. And so that's why this strategy that we've used with focusing on the physical, focusing on the emotional is so important. And we've done that in the Philippines, but guess what? The time's running out. We've got, you know, two weeks left to get people signed up. And then, boom, it's off to the races. We have incredible things in store for you in the Philippines. You're going to be hearing more from corporate about that. You've heard some right now. But, I mean, it's here. It's here. It's already here. I mean, people don't do much in the next few days anyways. And then as soon as you wake up, hit the ground running, it's time. So I would just do everything I possibly could, both here in North America and in, in the U.S. and in Canada and obviously in the Philippines to get as many people in the system as possible by January 10th. That's a hard cutoff date. We shut it down for a little bit. We get you structured. And to be honest, that was one of the most powerful things we were able to do when we launched Yoli in the United States and even in Canada is we allow people to get their structure in place. And it's a huge advantage if you know what you're doing. So don't take it lightly. Take the extra little bit of time to do it the right way because a lot of times what you start with is what you end with and we start with a good structure and a good foundation then you're ensuring that for the rest of your career and so same thing in mexico you know it's going to be the same thing that we're doing in the philippines if they have the ability to get product you know if they've got a social security or, or whatever they need to get it then get them become a customer right whatever way you have get them to be a customer that's going to happen we're not sure when it's going to happen uh, in 2018, but we know it's going to happen in 2018. Um, so that's right around the corner too. I mean, but even without that, without the Philippines, without Mexico, the, the biggest, the golden goose is right here in our own backyards. I mean, let's face the facts. We live in the best place in the world. People have more money to spend. Um, the dollar goes much further than any of these other places. And nobody's ever heard of Yoli in most of our own backyards. And so let me leave you with just a couple few things um, that I've been sharing as I've been going on the road, which I had the opportunity to do recently in Canada, New York, and, and Vancouver. Um, but, um, you know, I, I like the story, and some of you have heard this, of, of, a, of an old mentor of mine named Jay. And, and Jay, when I was starting in the industry, um, he wasn't but maybe 10 years older, maybe not even, maybe seven or eight, but when you're young, when you're, you know, wet behind the ears like I was when I got started in my early 20s, you know, if I was 23 and he was 30, you, you know, making a bunch of money, he was, you know, my elder. <laughs> and I, you know, I always just admired him because he has an ability to focus for 90 days, just blinders on. Uh, they called him the 90 day boy wonder, in fact. And I don't stay in touch with that many people, to be honest, um, because not that many people are worth staying in touch with. And I don't really mean that to be negative, um, but it gets back to that time factor. You know, I, you know, I look at, you know, Annabelle, Alan, you know, Michael, I mean, these are the people that I want to partner with. Joe John, I saw in there, you know, these are the people that I know have substance. You know, I, I know these people, I know that they are honest. They have integrity. They're hard workers. You know, they're consistent. They're persistent. Um, you know, they make the right decisions even when somebody isn't watching, you know what I mean? All these things that you look for. And so Jay was one of those few individuals like Bobby Jones, Bobby and I met, he was a prospect of mine 20 years ago. We never did business for 10 years, but I said, you know what, this Bobby guy, he's, 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 he's an incredible guy. He's very wise. He's an entrepreneur. He's a hard worker. I can trust him. And it wasn't but seven years after we first met on the phone and had a phone relationship that I met him in person. And then it wasn't 10 years before we started doing business. And so, you know, Jay is one of those people that I've stayed in touch with now for 20 years. And every year he calls me or I call him and, and, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, I, every Jay, you know, uh, I said, you know, I, what was the last thing I said to him? I said, um, I just joke about being the 90 day boy wonder, you know, and, I ask him what he's doing. He's like, hey, I'm doing the same thing I've been doing the whole time. You know, I'm, I'm reaching out and I'm doing the basics. I'm, I'm inviting new people. I'm adding to my list. I'm doing presentations. I'm following up and I'm keeping it fun. And those are the things we need to do, but it's the mindset that we bring to those things <clears throat> that, that keep us going. And the, the, mediocre, the, the signature of mediocrity is chronic inconsistency. I know that the people on this Zoom call don't suffer from that, but a lot of our team members do. And that's why we can get everybody into the room 
and do these, you know, uh, these, these, these uh, group inviting, for instance, sessions, someone comes into the business, the, the most important thing we can do for them is help them put a win in the win column as quickly as possible. But if we can't get them to take, if we can't get them to take us to their best people, how are we gonna do that? See, it's not so much about the how, it's about the who. The who is gonna get you to where you wanna go a lot faster than the how. The how is great, we know the how. We know exactly what we have to do. But how can we get to more people, the who, to get to those advanced levels? And we can do that through these group inviting sessions, for instance. And we can get people engaged because, you know, Tony Robbins says this all the time, the only thing greater than um, uh, desire for gain is fear of loss. And when you help somebody score quickly or within the first week or two weeks or a month, now they have someone underneath of them and now they're leaving money on the table if they don't work their business. Now when they bring that new person in, even if they don't end up doing anything, the faster you can work down, and that's the real truth to this business, is the top leaders learn how to chase the business and build in depth because the fire burns up. And if you want to get people on your team excited, you build down below them and you become a master at engaging with their people, building rapport with their people, helping their people score. And you go down as deep as possible. And once you get good at this, it's easy. And the truth is, is that you don't need that many new people, even though two a day brings freedom my way and you want to always be reaching out all the time. Of course, there's prospects everywhere. We absolutely need to be doing that. And if you work with your people, work through your people, work around your people, and don't leave anything to chance, then you're going to be able to get a lot more uh, mileage out of your team in a very positive way, right? Because you're going to be utilizing their contacts in a much more effective way as you improve your skills, as you learn to do these group invites together as you learn to chase the business and help people score a lot faster because now they're going to be more consistent now they have skin in the game right so that's one thing you know and um back to the the time and valuing your time and working with the right people um you know listen i'm all for helping someone if they come to me and they have a challenge we all have challenges i've gone to chris with challenges chris has come to me with challenges we all do that but if you come to someone or if they, a person on your team comes to you with the same problem three times, they don't have a problem, they want attention. Does that make sense? If they're always complaining, you know, complaining is not a strategy. So you want to identify this because there's no way to get, there's no worse way to get frustrated or better way to get frustrated, I should say, than to, to keep working with the same people and not generating any results because they're not doing what they need to do. This is a very simple business. We all know what we need to do. We know that if we show the plan a certain number of times, we're gonna get a certain number of PCs, we're gonna get a certain number of uh, ones, we're gonna get a certain number of threes. We all know threes are great. I was a three, many of you are a three. That's okay, we embrace everybody, we know that. But um, let's see, a couple more things. At the end of the day, um, and, and this is actually a really good strategy that uh, myself uh, and Robbie and Kale, because we're always going to, seminars and different places where we can learn and grow and, um, and, and expand our, our horizons essentially. And there was a great presentation by a guy that learned this little thing and, and it really caught on in New York and Canada. So I wanted to share with you real quick. And he learned this, believe it or not, um, he, he must be in his 70s. He learned it from um, the, the, the guy who started Success Magazine. Okay, literally, this came from the person, and, and you know his name, let me know, because it's eluding me, it'll come up to me, the person who started Success Magazine, right? So it's like from, a lot of, you know, truth is old, right? We know that. And so, you know, a lot of people, it, to me, what, what leadership is all about, and what entrepreneurship is all about is, you know, things are going to happen, and we use that as fertilizer for growth, you know? Stuff's going to happen, things that don't go our way, people don't show up to the BBP, whatever it may be, right? And so if we, and we already do this, but it's all about if you wanna grow exponentially, you gotta teach your team to do this. Anytime something happens that you may perceive as being somewhat negative, you're in traffic, you know, and, 
and the guy's a jerk driving or uh, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Somebody like I used an example of not showing up to a BVP or someone lets you down in any way, shape or form. You lose money. You know, you lose. You're in a state of, of loss. You're in a state of lack. I want you to say to yourself instinctively, the moment your mind starts going this way negative, I want you to say to yourself, because let me ask you a question. How many of you have had something happen to you in, in your life that initially you thought was bad, but ended up being a blessing, right? We all have that happen. And that's up to us to, it's the mindset, right? So anytime something happens that we might think is a little negative, or this is mostly for our team, because a lot of us already think this way, I want you to just instinctively say to yourself, that's great. In other words, Tim, Tony Robbins calls it interrupting the pattern. So if we teach our team to instinctively say when something bad happens, because listen, when people come to this business, it's like a, it, it, things happen, they're, they're condensed. You really learn about yourself quickly. And a lot of people aren't used to entrepreneurship. They're used to being on a job, taking, um, you know, listening to what their boss has to say. And if something happens, it happens, whatever. They're not used to having to deal with being their own boss and, and, and owning up to things themselves. You can always pass the buck. But when you say that's great, eventually you see your mindset shift and you start to internalize and figure out a way to, um, in, to, 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 to look at that, whatever the situation, as being a blessing instead of a curse. And if you can do that, because this whole business has to do with your emotional mindset. And so if you can keep that emotional mindset very, very high on a daily basis and don't experience the super highs and the low lows and just kind of stay even keeled, then you're going to start to breed that mindset on your team, right? Um, you know, for instance, you know, I always talk about, um, you know, uh, dreams over drama. You know, so many people prioritize drama and they let all that drama distract them from their dreams. And a lot of that has to do with how they're interpreting things that are happening to them in their life and their business and their relationships. And if they learn how to say that's great, hey, that's great. It might not seem great now, but I can see how that is going to be a great win for me in the future. So I'm just trying to give you some things because it all happens here, right? I say that the better body system comes with everything we need to be successful, the best product, best comp plan, the best leadership, the best proprietary blends. But the only thing it doesn't come with are things like self-respect, right? And, and, and self-motivation and self-love and these type of things. So if we can if we can create this type of a culture within ourselves and on our team, then things are naturally going to start growing because people's emotional mindset is going to be in the right place. Right? So hopefully those are a few things that can help you as you enter 2018 and kind of do a reset. Because if you want to have a better 2018, like Chris was saying, than 2017, then we all have to make a new contract with our thoughts. Because the thoughts that gave us what gave, what gave us what we got in 2017 are going to get us the same thing in 2018 if we continue thinking the same way. And Chris said something that I talk about all the time. And he said, um, you know, success is all about um, progressing and growth. And I always say that success and happiness are all about um, living up to our potential. Because when we, when we know we're living up to our potential, even if, even if things aren't going exactly as quickly as we want, we know we're doing what we have to do to eventually get to where we're going. But on the other hand, if we're not, then there's always that seed of doubt, you know, those fuds, those fears, uncertainties, and doubts that sink in because we know in the back of our mind that we're not doing everything we can. We're leaving too many things for chance, to chance. We're letting our new prospect you know, go out into the wild and do men too many invites on their own. We're letting them do too many BBPs instead of what? Holding their hand, doing the invites with them, doing the BBPs, doing the following up. Because if you'll do that and you'll instill that, help instill that confidence in the early beginnings of someone's business, even though it's more hands-on, even though it's more, have to be more engaging, even though it takes more time, maybe even away from your family to make a sacrifice, in the long run, You'd rather have someone who's self-sufficient out there transforming lives, whether it's here, or Philippines, or Mexico, because um, if you do what, if you start the right way, is what I'm telling you. You'll set the foundation, and so I know we can all improve upon that, um, and I know that we can all 
um, live up, we'll never live up to our full potential, but we can inch a little bit closer. And so that's my challenge to you in 2018 is, you know, we don't know what the future holds. We know what we've been planning for. We know that we've worked the entire 2017 to set up the ultimate 2018, both here in America, North America, and the Philippines and Mexico. But right now it's out of our hands. It's really up to the leadership to decide where we're going to go. Are we going to live up even to more of our potential in 2018? Are we going to be, you know, if, we, if, if, if in 2017, 65% of our thoughts were positive, right, versus 55% in 2016, imagine if 75% of our mindset is positive and we can start internalizing that and start helping our team to, to have the right mindset. Imagine the impact that that's going to have on our business because, you know, it'll never be different that the biggest room for improvement is every, in every house is the room for self-improvement. And so in 2018, you know, my wish for you is that, um, um, you know, we just take it a little few more degrees into the right direction. We come a, become a little bit better versions of ourselves than we were in 2017. And if we'll do that, well then pff, sky's the limit. I mean, literally we can transform a million lives and even, even more. So, you know, we've got everything lined up. Now's the time. If you're ever going to go all out, it, it starts now. It doesn't even start January 1st, especially with the Philippines. You want to hit the ground running. We've got a couple weeks here to really take things to that next level. Um, and as you know, I'm here, Robbie, Darren, Bobby, all the leaders in Yoli. It's one team, one mission. Um, and I know I repeat this all the time, but I think it's really, really important. We have no exit strategy at Yoli. We have zero plans to go public, zero plans to sell ever, zero plans to be anything different than who we are today as people. Um, yes, we plan to grow a much bigger company, transform a whole lot more lives. But at the end of the day, we're never going to change who we are or what we're looking to do, what our goals are, what our dreams are, and that really revolves around each and every one of you. When we set out to start Yoli, it wasn't about us. We were already financially independent. We wanted to empower as many people as we possibly could to experience um, just abundance in all facets of their life, physically, emotionally, and, and then financially for those few individuals. So, you know, it's the law of the few. Out of all those people in the profit, that he invested money in, he lost millions and millions of dollars because you know what? At the end of the day, most people, I don't think that they're bad people, but most people are going to let their drama interfere with their dreams. And in this business, you just have to get over it. It's going to happen no matter what. But you know what? The one or two or three or four success stories that he had with these few businesses that he shared made all the difference, not just emotionally for him to help mitigate all the disappointments and the people letting him down, but financially too. He needed three or four home runs to negate the 30 or 40 or, you know, however many losers he had and all the money he lost. It's the same thing in this business. It's just a few people. And so make sure that you're investing your time in the right people. When you find those right people, make sure that you buckle down and you work with them hand in hand. Because if you'll do that from the very beginning, you'll implement this group invite um, type. Uh, since you're going to be hearing more about that. You'll see. I'm telling you, you're going to get more mileage out of the people that you have. They're going to have more success initially. And when they have more success initially, they're going to be more inspired to keep going. So anyways, you know me, I could go on and on and on, but uh, I'm going to just stop right there because um, uh, I know you've got your families there. This is a time of year where um, you just want to cherish the time that we get to spend with our loved ones and really just reflect on uh, all the things that have gone well for us in the world. We're also fortunate to live right here in the United States and, you know, be able to help our families back in the Philippines with this enormous opportunity. And, um, you know, I just hope that we all really appreciate what we have 
and really focus on the good because there's a lot of craziness in, in life right now. And if, and if you focus on the news and I always say you can't change the news, but the news can change you. Yep. Yep. And so I don't mean to like, just not pay attention and, and, and not know what's going on in the world, but Hey, listen, the only way to change the world outside is change the world inside. And if you start doing that, you can really start to impact the people on your team, the, your family, because at the end of the day, it's really about leaving a legacy. And, um, you know, you can't take to the grave the money that you make, but you can leave um, the relationships and the love and, and everything that you did to help people. So anyways, that's all. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. I always, I always enjoy it and, and feel free to reach out. Um, I'm here if you want to do a, a three-way call or a Skype call or you just want to call and say, hey, I'm having some challenges. Just remember, don't ever complain down, complain up. That's when you give me a call and say, hey, having some troubles whatever, fill in the blank. Don't feel like we ever, we want that. We, we, we love that. We, anything we can do to, if you keep coming back with the same thing, it might be a challenge, but Hey, listen, everybody has challenges. If you need to get over a roadblock, that's that you feel like maybe someone close to you can't help you reach out. We're always here. That's what we're here for. We love to do that at the end of the day. That's what it's all about. So, um, much love and blessings to everybody here at the holidays and into 2018. We're looking for great things. Uh, from every one of you because all of you have greatness inside of you and um, the more we realize that and peel back those layers of negativity that we all have and the more we focus on the beauty and the love and the greatness in the world you know the more than we shine our light and 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 people need that we need to shine our light on people people have so much darkness and shadows on them and it's up to us and you know it, Anyways, that, that's all I have to say. I could go keep going for, for, for another half hour. But thank you all very much. I love you all. Have a safe, happy holidays. And uh, um, can't wait to see everybody in 2018. All right, Corey. Thank you so much, buddy. So I filled up a lot of notes. I took a lot of notes. Now, one of the things I will take from this call is the challenges are the fertilizers for growth. That's a good one, buddy. I like it. That's so I try to unmute the call, guys. So let's give a lot of love and you know appreciation to Corey. So Corey, thank you, Corey. Hey, 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 Cheers, everyone. Wow, how cool. This is awesome. Wow. Cheers, everybody. Bye.